So let's try and avoid that in the future by always pointing our feet where we're, we are currently moving at extreme speeds. It's, it, it increases the importance dramatically the faster we're moving. Say no to breaking with your face. It never solves any problems. Hey, Wingspan, how you doing, buddy? You have a good night, mate. So that should all be disconnected. Uh, yonk. Also, yonk. Yonk. And yonk. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Oh, have we uh, pulled out the uh, door uh, handle? Uh, we have not, but that's fine. Can we pull this up this way? Can. Perfect. Let's keep that going. Well, that out of the way, I could send this one over top and into that processor does it really matter once you reach terminal velocity um no not really <laughs> that's the whole point of it being called terminal velocity oh now moving so fast that <laughs> if you collide with anything you're gonna die much for the tip about just yonking the uh, connectors up. That is much better. Finally turned off the power in here. Took us a while, but we got there in the end. Still connected to something. Fair enough. Bye. Transferring credit. Enjoy Earth. Wow, Earth does look quite different, though, doesn't it? I didn't just realize that. Earth does not look like it's having a very healthy time. easy now to get all of this cleared. More of a bump than I intended, but that's fine. Salvage deposit registered. There we go. So I've got quite a lot of this ship to take apart. When you think every 15 minutes we're making about 2 to 3 million.
I don't think I saw any, uh, sadly, any spare oxygen tanks in here. So I'm going to have to go and buy some more now. Let's get this last little bit of wire scrap out of here. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. It's not what I meant to grab, but that works as well. Warning. Critical oxygen Back. levels detected. Consult the Lynx employee handbook on how to maximize your blood oxygen saturation. Don't oh, worry. I love the dynamic music in this, though. I'm going to be honest, that is an amazing feature. The way it becomes so much more energetic when my... <laughs> When they're suddenly like, yeah, you're, you're out of oxygen. That is really, really good. Goodbye. Pull that off, though. Ah, right, okay. Fair enough. Let's be a little bit more careful with that part, though. Since that's all connected to the glass still. This is so satisfying, though, once you start to really cut off the big chunks of the ship. Oh, my lord. It is incredibly satisfying to do. Let's get in here. We've got quite a lot of stuff in here, actually. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Actually, this is all going to the surf furnace anyway, so I really shouldn't have done that. Uh, oh well. It was just a waste of my uh, durability on my grapple gun. Apologize. You're fixing to dot the I's and cross the T's. You got about five minutes to do it. We are out. You didn't notice it? Getting a lot more work done now per shift, thanks to the expanded oxygen. of this in here pulled out as we possibly can might be able to get a decent amount of salvage as a result of this since these have a non-insignificant value but the grapple gun does sound very angry when I do that not gonna lie Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Oh, also this needs to go into one of the furnaces. <laughs> Damn it, Abak wasn't making me buy V-Rising already enough for this week. <laughs> sorry, Dunk Curtin. Actually, I'm not sorry. I hope you enjoy so many games. 
brings me great pleasure to bring them to your attention. Even if you hate me a little bit more. Go with it. Whee! Go, 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 go. Meow. That was satisfying. I know I could have done it the other way, but it was still satisfying. Much more than it should have been, probably, but... Right, let's uh, disconnect this floor. Oh yeah, as a general rule, I'm only going to play games that I enjoy. I don't always know that I'm going to enjoy them, though at this point I've been doing this for a long enough now that I've generally got a fairly good sense for whether I'm going to click with the game or not. Right, you need to go down here. Oh dear. Uh, calm down. Got these cushions out here. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I should get a decent amount of this done, actually. Back. Salvage deposit secured. Looking like you got about a minute left, Cutter. Thank you very One much. One minute remaining. I will be done very soon. That's some very, very tough fabric, to be fair. I'm not sure that would ever be comfortable. As well. Transferring credit. The suit repair patch. I'm gonna say let's pop it up here. Since I may still have use for that. We never know. <sighs> Two, three, yep. Yeah. Seventy-four MP, forty LT, and we made a good bit of cash. Four million, four point six million on that one actually. So yeah, four million plus at the end of this shift. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, yeah. Once we've taken out the like uh, the rent and deductibles. Good morning, shift breaker. Links mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Mm, that's fine for me, but... Yep, that was a fairly decent one. Well below the 1.22 now. Now uh, we're just going to get straight back to the shift. Grab the data pad. Uh, what data pad? Uh, did I miss one that was being filled off? I apologize if so. I didn't see it in the glare there. Seen any data pads out here? Unless that right there is one. Door console. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. 
Don't see anything else, I'm afraid. Let's go down the patch. Uh, let's get in here and try and cut a bunch of these up at the same time. Let's avoid. Yeah, I can see you there, you sneaky. There we are, that's a bit better. Now, if we were to yank that up, also yank that up, I think that will disconnect this entire area. Fortunately, all of that needs to go to the furnace, so. Over there, and you next. Material accepted. Credit it would be fun to use tethers for this part, only no. I cannot possibly imagine that that would be worth it, the cost of a tether. Tether supplies are dropping. You need to cross correct quickly. Ooh, that was close. That was very nearly in the wrong. Uh, the wrong bay. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. There's our reactor over there. Now, given its position, it may actually be very easy to get that down onto the barge without any real faffing around up here. I might not even do that as the last thing. I might do that earlier. Still, the potential to mess up a reactor is an awful lot of money's worth of loss. So I may yet still wait on that. Imagine just cutting it. We have to. That would be a pretty rough loss. No mistake. Goodbye. Uh, that was I. Hmm. I. Uh, I. Hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, I should have been aware. <laughs> Given the weight that that was displaying, that that was probably more than I expected it to be. Please tell me there was nothing that needed to be on the barge. Please. I think the only thing that needed to be on somewhere else was the glass. And I can live with that, but that's kind of annoying still. Well. Processor deposit accepted. I mean, <laughs> Credits awarded. yeah. That's a bit of a pain, but it is a thing. Yeah, I destroyed glass. 88 grand's worth of glass. That's a lot of glass I've lost. Glass be expensive, yo. Well, I suppose this glass has to be able to handle incredible pressures, so that's kind of makes sense. Regulator as well. We're almost up to four. Well, then we are up to four. Now. 
Every single time that happens, I expect my helmet to snap. Every single time. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Cool. Alright, while well, we're just pulling apart the remainder of this. Chat, how many of you have watched the uh, new episode, the first new episode of Stranger Things? Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. No spoilers in chat, by the way. I'm just asking how many of you have. So I know there is at least a couple of you that are interested in watching it, but haven't yet. That's good enough. Tenths have I got? Not many. All right. All right let's get you up. Bye. Perfect. I've actually never seen Stranger Things. Well worth a watch, in my opi opinion. Reminder: Asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage goals. Newly noted game. Don't forget to breathe, otherwise you might forget to salvage. Do I have any more tethers? I don't. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to buy some more oxygen then. Uh, that being said... Alright. Quick question. How much is left? 602,000. That's worth the 16,000 I'm going to pay to get some more oxygen. Even though I've got all of the milestones, and those are the, mo the things I most care about. Wait, does danger on the job increase your oxygen usage? It seems to, yeah. left of you. I think it is literally just all of the furnace gum. Okay, nice and fast. Enjoy the ride. We. I wanted it to go in fast so that tether wouldn't run out, though I suppose if I can maximize the tether um, lifespan, then I won't have to worry about that too much. Love you, but family movie night calls. I'll take it in trance for the wild. You have a great time. Enjoy your movie night. Sticker unlocked. Helter Skelter. Nice. Now, is there anything else out here? Got that. Is there anything? Material accepted. Credits transferred. You in there? Cutter. Ship's got about five minutes left in her. Let's Don't make need it. We're out. Chuk, 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 chuk. Anything else left? I don't think so. I think we're clean. I mean, there's this, but there's not really... There's not really much point in using it, honestly. But I'll use it just for the sake of it, I guess. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies Let's watch Dark, a German series on Netflix, and after that, Stranger Things... Dark was better. Uh... 
Lady Sheila watched Dark as well when she had COVID, actually. She really, really enjoyed Dark. Yep, it is now break time. We'll have a look at what I've got in here first, and then uh, we will go ahead. I uh, lost some glass. There, yeah, the glass would have been that. Glass light door, door con. Oh, door console was destroyed? Oh, that's a shame. That's a big shame, actually. But, uh, what do we get? 96.8. We can do better than that, chat. But uh, we will have a look at the data that we got. New also, new things I can unlock. And then we're going to be going on tea break. Yeah, we will be fueling up before next shift. Right. Uh, 74 MP, 55 LT, and one repair kit. One person's trash is another person's livelihood. Hmm. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 The okay, K-Mirage GSM. <laughs> Really? A high of 270 degrees? Wow. Okay. We've unlocked the Atlas uh, Rustabout. Uh, Roustabout. Roustabout, I guess. Uh, unparalleled brawn. Unfaltering durability. Unmatched power. When the job site requires a tireless workhorse, call on the Atlas Roustabout. Four quasar thrusters and high output power stations give the roustabout peerless strength. Reinforced to uh, tow towers and push pads provide maximum walk utility. Whether workstation construction, salvage, or demolition, the roustabout lets you handle the hardest jobs with ease. Atlas. Powerful. Dependable. Enduring. The foundation of a better world. Ah, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. I like it. I like it a lot. Incinerate 35,000 kilograms of aluminium. Uh, Ichthyologist. Salvage 9.5 million credits from two unique mackerels. Oh, okay. Nice. I like that. That's called Ichthyologist. Sure. That's actually pretty cool. I want to tell you, I'm mighty impressed by you. Remind me of me when I started. All bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Had big Thank dreams of hitting the rails back then. Bought myself one of them classic armadillo rigs. Named the old girl Beulah. After my mother. Told you about my bad revive a while back. Another case of me and technology not getting on, I guess. Bottom line is, this body just ain't fit for flying no more. Mm -hmm. So, I want to give Beulah to you. Wow. Better. She ain't in the best of shape, but she'll do good by you. Wow. Hell, even a few places around the village that'll fit her out for gate travel, if you're so inclined. Anyway, that's it. She'll do more for you than me now. I'm just happy she's going to be with somebody that truly appreciates her. Weaver out. Weaver is good peoples. Weaver is very good peoples. I feel so bad for Weaver. No. No. There we go. Done. Weaver is best at peoples. Alright, we've got a message and some data. Uh, Exeter Paulson. The Exeter Paulson era, 2208 to 2255. Wait a second. Wasn't that meant to be a different era before? I'm certain it was. Born well into Earth's post-climate collapse era and raised in the intellectual haven of the Swiss Confederacy, Exeter always had his sights set on space. From a young age, friends and family knew him as a true visionary who showed excellence in every endeavor. In early adulthood, he began looking off-world for venture opportunities and started acquiring small businesses with untapped potential. Folding them all under the same umbrella of Paulson technology, utilizing the vast financial resources from across his portfolio, Exeter had a gift for unlocking the true potential for every new acquisition. In 2208, 
With over 200 years of human space travel leaving a swath of dangerous debris that was now a very real hazard for further human expansion, the International Federation of Earth and Humanity introduced massive subsidies for cleaning and recycling of this detritus. Astute as ever, Exeter came across a mismanaged but highly respected recycling operation, Link Salvage. This acquisition quickly awarded Exeter vast subsidies that would enable him to focus on his primary vision, creating a network of rapid mass transit between Earth, Mars and beyond. Eventually, this vision would manifest as the modern railgate network. Charmed with how Link Salvage used the now extinct Wildcat with the air of a mythological beast as its moniker, Exeter Paulson rebranded his entire operation as Link's Corporation in 2210. Up next, the Railgate Project, 2230 to 2267. I see. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel that Weaver knows this, this is it for him now. Weaver is institutionalized. Right, let's have a look. I... <sighs> Okay, Solar Gov Part 1 and Stellar Commission Logo View. Okay, well, let's have a look at the Logo View. Stellar Commission, EST2275, the current exceedingly dull logo of the Stellar Commission. Uh, phonotext reading. The Stellar Commission, Part 1 of the Stellar Commission, governing body for most of humanity, a barometer for stellar conflict, and a platform for pan-solar collaboration. Let's look at how the organization, its wins and losses over the years, and how it has been tested by many logistical and social issues. Since 2275, when it was formed to address the need for a unified method of governing the many disparate colonies of humankind, the Stellar Commission has routinely come up against one of the ugliest forces in the whole solar system, the sheer and mitigated joy of corporations exploiting humans as they see fit. Centuries of nearly zero regulation amid the colonies has been emboldened and empowered these corporations to the point that they've come to wield immense power over civilization. You'd think that with the formation of the Commission, whose members hail from all corners of the solar system, those companies would have found their true match. But frankly, the actions of the Commission have been largely wanting. The long procession of chair folk, all the way back to the first of these line, a chairperson Rao, despite their best efforts, have seen themselves outperformed practically every step of the way. The sad reality is that the Commission has largely struggled to find methods to govern the many vast pockets of humanity scattered tens of thousands of kilometres apart from one another. We, the people of the Stellar Commission, band together in determination to save future generations of the horrors and historical missteps of our dying home planet, which has brought untold sorrow to humankind. Or, so the mission statement goes. Dun dun dun! It seems that there may be more to this story than meets the eye. Now, first and foremost, go to upgrade my gear. Oh, back, I looked into it in a while back. Setting up a server is pretty simple. So, could run one for everyone if you need it. Oh, Space Station 13. Oh, that might be very nice. I mean, especially if it's like a, a uh, dappling server. I think I think a dappling Space Station 13 ser server would be utter chaos in the best possible way. Right, we've got three stickers. Uh, hmm. Well, since this can cut aluminium, sure. Let's pop that in there. And... Uh, no, 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 we do want that one. Oh, can I? Oh, I've already put it there. Sorry. What other stickers do we have? Oh, we've got. Have we got two more of these? Surely not. Ah, oh, there we are. I'll do. I will open all the doors. Oh, totally. Totally. AI is one of the funnest roles. Oh, uh, well, actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. AI can be a very fun role out of the box. But all of the roles can be fun if you put your mind to it. All of the roles can be fun. Thank 
I haven't played SS13 for a good long while, though, so I, I don't know what kind of stations are out there these days. Right. Station Harper, Light Cargo, a Javelin Tanker. That might be something fun to play with. Uh, station, uh, an Atlas. People were asking about that. Uh, we won't do an Exolab. I haven't done a Heavy Cargo, though. Or have I? I think I may have. Uh, we want one with Quasar Thrusters. There we go. So, chat, are we gonna are we gonna try and play around with uh, Quasar Thrusters? The Nebulous Neptune. Also, 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 I need to do something. I came in here to get some better equipment, uh, and then I completely forgot. Yes, let's upgrade that. And then I think getting heat resistance would be wise and getting some electrical resistance would be wise. Let's get a little bit of both. I definitely feel as why that's a good call. I should have gone for the object, but I, I want I'm gonna be playing around with thrusters that I'm getting the impression since chat is like, oh yeah, yeah, let's do let's do thrusters. Quasar thrusters. They want to see me burn up and die. I'm on to you. Looking dapper. Don't think, don't think you're pulling one over on me. Many Murgle, thank you very much for the 18 months there. Just got out of work and got to clean up a bit. Figured I'd open up the stream and get my reset done first. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you ever so much for the continued support. And Mistress uh, Sithari, thank you very much for the 23 months. All right. Uh, one upgrade that might be uh, is fire resistance for these engines. Okay. Done and done, Acme Boy. Uh, there is a trick to the Quasar Thrusters you can do after you unlock cryohazards. Hint, frozen pipes don't explode when you cut them. Ah. Clever, clever. That, I mean, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. I was going to say the frozen pipes weren't, the, the pipes themselves weren't ex the thing that was exploding. It was the stuff inside the pipes. But yeah, no, I guess. Given the frequency of things coming at the face at high speed, a more resilient suit is always a good purchase. Yeah, that definitely seems like a, a wise one. Okay, class one reactor, power cell. Though, have we got any, like, class two reactors? I can only imagine they are very complicated. Uh, I don't see any. All right, the nebulous Neptune, let's go. We'll see what we can do. Loving this music, though. All right, Cutter. Oh, what do you have to do? on these Atlas ships are worth the mint, but can be a touch fiddly. Yeah, there's only um, one way. Hey, Valve thruster engine. Do you know what that is? Administrator gets here. You gotta pop off the thrust uh -huh. control and work your way inside from there. The trick of it is, uh, these thrusters thanks. become unstable Ty, once you start you working good? on them. Fire yeah. starts spreading yeah. real fast. Nervous. When it reaches the fuel tank. Uh -huh. I just forgot to blow. lose this job. You gotta get uh, in quick. Slow down, switch man. off the fuel supply. They always let go of the screw up. Shut up, switch. Right? The uh, back. We all screw get up. to that switch as fast as you can. Uh, Otherwise, I kind of feel I needed this information. Well, we'd be in for a big old mess. Yeah. Okay. Just Let's get that knob removed. Down. My guy, I feel like I now have no bloody idea what I'm meant to do. And I feel that this is bad. <sighs> Welcome to Vendetron 9000. That's really unfortunate. Thank you for your fuel level restored. Um, okay. So... I'm going to need chat to give me the lowdown on, on what Weaver said there to do. If you could. Don't go into more detail than Weaver did, but if you could just throw out the, the, the gist of it, that would be great. Okay. 
Uh, let's read chat. Pop off the nozzle, start cutting the fuel lines, pull out the thruster, and then hold your breath and go back. Uh, go to the back. Hit the switch. Okay. Basically, once you open up, fire starts, race to the fuel switch, and shut it off before boom. All right. TLDR, fire bad. Be careful. <laughs> tutorial message was playing. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, the tutorial message and story message basically overlapped, so... I, I couldn't even follow the subtitles because the story message subtitles were pushing the tutorial subtitles off the screen. It was just all over the place. Cut the back of the thruster off. Cut the four cut points as fast as you can. Pull out the thruster and fly past, past the fire to the other end to turn off the fuel. Hmm... Okay, I I will I will try my best, Chet. Yeah, well, let's first have a look at this whole thing, see what we've got to play with before I start trying to rip open thrusters. Also, thank you very much for the hype train. That's super kind of you. All. Right, so we've got four cut points there. Two cut points there. All right. Fuel line goes all the way down. So this area. Looking dapper. Also, Anish, thank you very much for the gifts up there. That's super kind of you. Quasar's a heavy tether. Highly recommend. Okay. Duly noted. It's all depressurized except for the crew courses. This is a big bloody ship, to be fair. I approve. All right. So, I'm guessing the idea is we... From what chat was saying, I open this up, pull the thruster out, then race through to the switch there. Yeah, the flush switch right there. To shut the whole thing down. That's what I'm guessing was said. Mechanical regulator. So, slice, pull... Race, turn off. Uh, a generic console of Mars manufacture used most commonly in mechanical operations such as manually regulating ship systems. Let me just uh, catch up with chat. Don't die, it was the advice. Thank you very much, Ellie Orange. <laughs> Bearing in mind, dying costs money. We can't have that. Uh, thank you ever so much, though, for all of the cheers in chat. That was super, super kind of you. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. It's incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Uh, the switch was made in the forges of Mars, I see. Your job is to be efficient. Dying is inefficient. True. Very true. Uh, all right. Well, we'll probably deal with the thrusters maybe last, but we'll, we'll see. Got a reactor in there. We've got a, a thruster field there. Okay, nice, nice. We've got... All kinds of electronics, but not a, not a huge amount. I think the main money here is going to be the th taking the thrusters off. Which makes a lot of sense, I suppose. What on earth is this? Oh, containers. Can I get into them? I wouldn't mind getting into a cargo container, not going to lie. There's probably some nice stuff in there. Nice stuff that could be my stuff. I like having new nice stuff. These things are bloody huge, though. Oh, 
How am I gonna move you? You're you're still gigantic. Alright, I'm gonna have to tug you out, I think, and then down. 